Well, it looks like it stopped raining. It's already noon. So I'm going to go back outside and see if I can finish this bike. Hopefully the rain will hold off until I'm done. Might get a couple minutes of welding in, but it looks like the rain's coming back again. I always try to make as much noise as possible when coming around the corner. Never know if there's going to be a bear sleeping in the trailer. Sometimes the animals like to go in here in the morning. And just in case. Hopefully I'll never be close enough to use that. Hey, I'll be working on the Spirit Short wheelbase today. I'm going to mount the seat on the frame so I can then install the head tube on the frame. Working off a few hand sketches here. Have all the general measurements. The seat's already completed, so I'm going to be using one inch square tube. I'm going to cut the right length, mount it to the back of the frame, install the seat, and then figure out how far the bottom bracket can be set up on the frame, making sure it doesn't interfere with the front wheel. So it's time to go to the grinding room, which is the next room over. This is where all the grinding and cutting is done. Okay, I'm going to mark the seat tube for cutting. Just use a square to make a good cut all around the tube. Never actually had my vise bolted down to the desk. It's nice to be able to move it around. I do all the cutting with a zip disc, so I'm going to take the flap disc off the zip disc on. The safety guard is off so you can see the disc going through the metal. You should definitely leave yours on though. Zip disc makes a nice perfect cut if you follow the line. The edge of a cut tube is really sharp, so it's always a good idea to file it down. Just so you can handle it. That takes off the edge. Okay, back to the engineering room. Let's see how the weather's holding up. Not too bad. Still no rain. I'd better work fast. So the goal will be to weld the seat tube in place before the rain comes down. Gotta weld it to the frame and test the angles. Most of this work involves taking photos. Probably spend more time with the camera than I do with the welder. Okay, back up the hill to weld, as long as it's not raining. Seems to be holding out for now. But the weather changes fast out here.
There's the welder, literally sitting in the middle of a field. Welders hooked up to a temporary hydro service. It's the only place I have 240 volts. Okay, time to weld. Looks like the rain's coming down again, so better work quick here. Just going to be tack welding the seat tube on. No real accuracy. Just going to try some different angles and see what happens. So should still have time to do that. Just tack weld to the main frame. Alignment doesn't look too bad. So now I'll finish the rest of the welding. Let's see if the seat angle is okay. I already have a seat that I like, so just trying to make the angle match. Seems like I got pretty close. Now back down to the engineering room, set up the bike and see how it feels. Well the rain came back again so now I'm working on the seat angle. Checking for the distance between the corner of the seat and the cranks. seat tube is tack welded to the frame. Just in case I don't like the angle, I can change it later. Okay, the rain stopped. Gotta run. Head up the hill. Looks like a couple minutes of good welding. Okay, just about to strike up the arc and finish the weld on the seat tube here. Still got a couple minutes before it's going to rain, so I better hurry up. This is a standard AC welder, so it requires chipping of the flux after the welding's done. And a wire brush to clean the weld. And it's not too bad. Looks like the rain's coming back for the day. Better get as much as I can done. Managed to get the seat tabs mounted to the frame. The seat post is completely welded. Everything seems to fit good so far. The seat will be held on with a couple of wood screws. The Spirit short wheelbase is coming along nice now. Seat is mounted. 
and I'm just setting up the head tube angle making sure there's no crank overlap Well, thanks for tuning in. It's definitely nighttime now, so I'll catch you tomorrow. Try to finish the bike.